What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 to newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorpio, and you enjoy my content, you can smash my uh, smash, ah, ah, ah. smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free channel collective reading for all signs or for sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorps, any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan energy of your charts. Start with the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with the rest. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs uh, for message, additional message or messages. Um, if you would like, um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story situation, not anybody else. You have to plug them, plug them in how they resonate. Okay, so I received one channel message as I was meditating on your energy for um, July of 2022. This is a bonus reading for Sign of Scorps. Um, I heard heavy spine. That's what I heard. So heavy spine. So, um, you know, energies can be reversed. So only you know if you're heavy spying on person, people, place, or situation. Or maybe somebody's heavily spying on you. Because energies can be reversed. For some, it can be both. Maybe you're heavily spying on somebody or, and somebody's heavily spying on you. You plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of heavy spying energy, um, whether you're heavily spying on person, people, place, or situation, or somebody's heavily spying on you. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. We have ink pot, problems to be solved, eggs, success assured with good plans and hard work, firecracker, excitement. Spirit messages you have us on Scorpio. Cocaine is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Oh my god, wow. Cocaine, coke? Cocaine is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life? Well, that could be a positive or a negative aspect. Uh, for some, you could be a, uh, maybe you work the DEA and you're going to bust somebody that does coke. Hell, I don't know. Um, or maybe a family member does coke. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be you doing coke. Some some kind of cocaine energy, like the illicit drug cocaine. So it doesn't have to be you doing cocaine. It could be somebody you're connected to doing cocaine. Um I feel for some you could work at the DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency, or um, or you could work, uh, maybe you're an officer of the law, and you have to deal with somebody hopped up on coke, or you're a nurse, have to deal with somebody hopped up on coke. Maybe for some, you do coke. Uh, maybe for some, it's a family member, a community member, some kind of cocaine energy. For some, you might be dealers, and I'm just being for real. Um, I don't know. I didn't hear specifics on this. You plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of heavy spying energy and cocaine energy. You plug it in, how it resonates, Scorps. We have camel and fish. For some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or another water sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Flame, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. Messages you have, Scorpio. Transmutation number 29 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 29, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life. Number 29, Camel. Photos of Egypt is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life in the pyramids. Research on the pyramids. Okay. Photos of Egypt um, Photos of Egypt is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life and research on the pyramids. 
I feel for some of you might be in school or you're just researching it for your own personal knowledge and for some shape, form, or fashion for some reason. Um, how that resonates, but some kind of photos of Egypt and um, research on the pyramids. Um, I feel for some you could be doing a research project is what I'm feeling. For some you're doing a research project or you are um, researching Egypt for some shape, form, or fashion. Maybe for some you're going to take a vacation there. Um, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates, that's interesting. Camels, um, they may, well, they're from Egypt, so you plug it in how it resonates. A Scorpio is about to find two masculine energies, your friends, in a very intimate situation soon. Sexual intimate situation. You never thought these two were homosexual and you're about to find out they are. With your own eyeballs. Earth sign energies. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> Listen, I don't judge. Heterosexual, homosexual, I don't judge. But whoever you are, you can be masculine or femme. But it's two masculine energies you're about to catch. It's kind of like Brokeback Mountain. If anybody's watched the movie Brokeback Mountain before. Kind of reminds me of like a Brokeback Mountain situation. And I'm just being for real. Um, I heard it's two of your friends. So hopefully they're true loyal friends and not frenemies. I mean, I don't know. Only you know, not anybody else. But you consider them your friends. I didn't hear if you were younger or older. I mean, I don't care. It, it doesn't matter. But um, they could be 20, 30, 40, 60 for all we know. But you never thought they were homosexual. And you're about to find out they are. But you're about to walk in and see with your own eyeballs them doing something together is what it sounds like. Um, I don't think they told you they were homosexual together or they were homosexual, period. And you're about to walk in and find them being homosexual together. Like Brokeback Mountain style. If anybody doesn't know what Brokeback Mountain is, please Google it. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. You plug it in how it resonates for you. Oh my. I heard it was two earth signs. So this is your earth sign energy. Um, homosexual behavior there. Um, you're about to walk in and see with your own eyeballs. Um, whoever these earth signs are. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energies. Okay, we're moving on. Um, fish. Dr. Seuss and green eggs and ham is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Dr. Seuss and green eggs and ham is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. So, um, Dr. Seuss, well, we know who Dr. Seuss is and green eggs and ham. So, green eggs and ham. Um, uh, I think it might be physical green eggs and ham. Um, for some, it could be the book green eggs and ham, but how that resonates Dr. Seuss and either physical green eggs and ham or the book green eggs and ham is about to become significant in your life. Uh, for some, it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with here because this is Piscean energy or water sign energy. Uh, for some, it could be a water sign child you're reading a Dr. Seuss book to or what have you, what have you, or eating physical green eggs and ham with. I'm not sure. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Swimming in the sea is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Swimming in the sea is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. So swimming in the sea. So swimming in the sea like a fish. 
That's awesome. Uh, when I can get my money built up, I'm going to go swim in the ocean like a fish too. Just saying, just saying. Keep getting wrongfully terminated in my city four times in my city. So I'm quite getting quite tired of that. So I'm trying to renovate my house, win custody back of my children, and physically move out of this toxic ass city for me. Um, so I can um, grow and manifest myself in a proper way because getting wrongfully terminated in a city four times is not healthy for anybody. And that's just the damn truth. So I want to swim in the ocean like a fish too uh, in the sea. But um, I have to get in a correct city to quit wrongfully terminating my ass. And that's just the truth. Transmutation. Number 29 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 29. A Scorpio has already got a fire lit under their ass. They realized they had a hand in giving a hospital a very large amount of money and they shouldn't have. Through many series of chain of events, it's about, they're about to create a series of chain of events to get it taken back. It was a huge ass scam and you realize this now. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So a Scorpio had a hand in um, giving a, a hospital a very, very, very large amount of money in the past. But I heard you realized it was a huge ass scam and I heard you're right it was. Um, so you're going to create a series of chain of events to have the money taken away from the hospital. Whatever hospital that is and how that applies in your life. But I heard it was a huge ass scam and I heard you're right. So you intuitively knew it was a huge ass scam or you know it is now. But I heard you're right it was. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So transmutation, you're transmuting um, yourself and changing yourself because you're realizing the truth or you're about to. Um, and you're going to transmute the energy and create a series of chain of events to get the money taken back because it was a huge ass scam. And also, I see the fire on this card. So I think you have already got a fire lit under your ass, like fire sign energy, because it makes you angry, like fire, that um, you were lied to and scammed, whoever you are, Scorpio. And I don't blame you. I would be too. A significant FBI agent is about to be terminated through many series of chain of events. A Scorpio is about to have a lot to do with this. They are a huge ass crook and fraud. For one, it's a CIA agent. Oh my God. Whoa, Scorpio. So you're high level. You have, I mean, whoever you are, damn, you're high level to be able to do something like that. Um, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. Um, I heard you realize an FBI agent and a CIA agent, so a Federal Bureau of Investigations and Criminal Intelligence Agency agent, so at least one from each agency, are huge ass con people, basically. Con people and scam artists and negative energies, basically. They don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and values. They're huge ass scam, scam artists, frauds, etc., etc., etc. Heard you're about to create a series of chain of events to get them per, um, fired, terminated. And get their security clearances taken away. Their lives are going to look completely different in negative ways. And get their security clearances taken away. Their lives are going to look completely different in negative ways. So they've done something to person, people, place, family, or situation. Horrible, negative thing. Um, it's a CIA agent, FBI agent. Um, and you're about to be a power play mover, Scorpio, and help make this happen. Whoever you are, feel your high vibrational. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, I mean, there's negative in everybody. There's negative. There's um, low vibrational nurses, low vibrational doctors, low vibrational officers of the law, i.e. dirty cop energy, low vibrational CIA agents and FBI agents, apparently. I mean, it, it's not your job title. It's how you manifest and grow your job title. If anybody needs to hear that. Ink pot problems to be resolved.
A sex-addicted Scorpio is about to find out they have impregnated an Aries feminine. A sex-addicted Scorpio is about to find out they've impregnated an Aries femme. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. So, if this resonates for you, sex-addicted Scorpio, or maybe you know the sex-addicted Scorpio. It's a Scorpio masculine, sex-addicted Scorpio masculine. I heard they're about to find out they've impregnated an Aries femme. So, problems to be solved is, I'm assuming... Maybe, um, I don't know the income level of these people. Maybe she needs to get on government assistance, or maybe he makes plenty of money to support her, or she makes plenty of money to support herself. I'm not sure. But some kind of problems to be resolved regarding this pregnancy. Um, I don't think you expected it, sex-addicted Scorpio, to get her pregnant. But um, she's about to end up pregnant, um, if you already didn't know. Just saying, just saying. It's Aries Fem. She could have Aries in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Fem, and Henry Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. And money laundering of low vibrational readers all across YouTube is about to become a huge issue in a Scorpio's life. For one, you're about to investigate this. For one, you're about to report this in. You know information on it. Okay. And money laundering of um, low vibrational readers all across YouTube, I heard. So they um, it sounds like a network of low vibrational readers tarot card readers um, all across YouTube. So the plat social media platform YouTube, it sounds like a network of them. They all work together with some kind of money laundering um, scheme behind the scenes. For one, you know information on this low vibrational money laundering scheme and you're about to report information on it. For one, you're about to be investigating it. So problems to be resolved is the reporting energy for this money laundering scheme of these low vibrational readers it sounds like they're very public readers all across YouTube that have worked network together to money launder somebody's money or a group or organization's money for their own selfish gain behind the scenes. One, you're going to be investigating it. One, you're about to report it in because you know the information. I'm assuming you don't want to be an accessory to the crime. So problems to be resolved is the reporting of the money laundering of these low vibrational YouTube popular. Why well, do you think they're popular? But YouTube social media platforms, whoever they are. Um, I didn't hear specifically who they are. Only the one that's about to report, you know who they are. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, man. Getting a, a divorce started is very significant for Scorpio. Contested divorce. For one, it will be not contested. They will not fight it. They don't have a leg to stand on. Okay, so for at least you, two of you guys are about to get a divorce. You can be masculine or feminine. You plug it in how it resonates. For one, it's going to be a contested divorce. So your spouse is going to lawyer up and fight it. For, I'm assuming kids or property or assets or money or what have you, what have you. For one, it's going to be non-contested because I heard they don't have a leg to stand on. So problems to be resolved in that aspect is uh, either the non-contested divorce upcoming or the contested divorce upcoming. You plug it in how it resonates. Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Blueprints. Are very significant in a Scorpio's life. And a plumbing issue. Blueprints and a plumbing issue are very significant in a Scorpio's life. So the success assured by good plans and hard work, I'm assuming, is the blueprints. Um, I'm assuming you're either drawing up these blueprints or you want someone to um, draw up blueprints for you. Um, Maybe you're hiring a drafting person or personnel to do this for you, or you are the drafting personnel, how that resonates. Um, maybe you work in graphic design. 
how that resonates, but some kind of blueprint energy, whether you're drawing these up yourself or you're having someone draw them up for you. But I, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's for um, a structure or property or properties or something of that nature. Firecracker, excitement. An announcement of a birth coming soon. A promotion coming soon. <coughs> An announcement of a birth coming soon and a promotion coming soon. So I think you're going to be excited. It could be you. Um, it could be your child um, about to be birthed or somebody you're connected to's child about to be birthed. Um, somebody's going to be excited about this birth. It's a positive happy moment in somebody's life, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to that's um, about the birth of this child. Um, and some kind of promotion energy, whether you're getting a promotion or somebody you're connected to is. So you're going to be excited or somebody you're connected to is about to be excited for a promotion. How about that resonate, Scorpio? And business opportunities coming. Yeah, I've been ready. And business opportunities coming. So you're going to be excited about business opportunities? Well, that's wonderful. You plug it in, how it resonates. So business opportunities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I'm almost done. Give me a couple minutes. A significant child custody battle is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life soon. A significant child custody battle is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life soon. So it could be you in the middle of this child custody battle, or maybe you are um, a subpoena to this child custody battle, or you are a family member of somebody, a plaintiff or defendant in this child custody battle. Or you just know of somebody in this child custody battle, however that resonates, but somehow a child custody battle is about to become very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, Scorpio. You plug it in, how it resonates. And in Aries, fam, low vibrational karmic tarot readers, business is about to go down in a huge way. And in Aries, fam, low vibrational um, karmic tarot readers, channel is about to go down in a huge way. I did hear channel, so I think it should might it might be a YouTube platform because we were pulling in YouTube low vibrational YouTube readers in here earlier, or it could be any other platform. But some kind of low vibrational Aries, fam, karmic reader. She has a platform. I'm feeling YouTube, but it could be any other platform. I heard it's about to go down in a huge way. So I think business is about to go down. I think you're connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. You're either connected to her in a positive way or a negative way. You plug it in how it resonates, um, Scorpio. Okay. All right. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.